G'day Australia, I'm Coram E and today I'm at AudioCom in Balcata with a Suzuki Vitara where we've just fitted an upgraded set of speakers to the rear doors of the Vitara. Now, you'll see the original speaker in this vehicle is very, very limited. It's a very basic twin paper cone, twin cone, paper cone design, uh, very limited potential, very limited sound output. If you put a good head unit with this, it will sound very flat. You could not amplify these. So, to get a bit of sound out of your car, you want to swap out the speakers with a good aftermarket speaker, like the MTX Audio TX2 coaxial speaker. Now, this is a kit available from Audiocom stores. Uh, go to audiocom.net.au to find your closest, or Universal Fuse online. And what this kit consists of is a replacement speaker, the specific mounting ring here which brings the speaker out to the correct depth in the door so it projects the sound out into the cabin correctly but also protects the magnet from weather by raising it outwards and not having it in the door a little when i say weather what i mean is it's actually a lot of water gets down in the door which a lot of people don't realize that's why they have this weather shield on here to stop that moisture from getting from in the door into the cabin so uh, this little kit <clears throat> brings the speaker out to the correct level mounts it up correctly it comes with three new mounting screws to screw in here. Uh, you'll need a power tool for that. There are self-drilling Phillips head screws. You just need a Phillips bit in a drill and you'll be able to drill those in to mount in this speaker ring. There's a plug and play speaker connector adapter that will just plug onto the back of the new speaker and then plug into the original connector on the car. They won't plug straight in directly together, but with the included plug and play adapter in your DIY kit, you'll have a zero solder plug and play connection method without you having to make any manual connections which means you're not messing with the car's original wiring it just plug and plays with the adapter included then you need to refit your door trim now to get you to this point you'll need to uninstall the door trim so let's go over that quickly so this is now with the door trim fitted up i'm going to show you which points you need to unfasten this from it's a little bit different to the front doors which you might have seen in our other videos uh, the rear door of the suzuki vitara has two screw points here behind the handle and down here in the door handle, you need to pop up the little covers to access the Phillips head screw behind there. You can undo those screws, pop the door trim off, refit it. There's also one other little screw fastener up here. It's called a, a screw rivet or scrivet and a plastic scrivet. <clears throat> you need to pop that out with a little sharp panel tool. Try not to use something sharp like a knife or a screwdriver. You will mark the panel. You want to use a soft nylon panel tool. We have them available in the tool shop at um, universalfuse.com.au. For just nine bucks, you can get a good basic little panel tool kit, which will help you pop these off softly and correctly without mount marking the door or the cliff at all. Do it like a pro, get the right tools. Uh, after those three fasten points are released, you'll be able to clip the door trim out from the bottom. It's just clips around the perimeter. You can clip that outward and lift it upward and it'll come off and away. You'll need to unplug the window switch. Make sure when you refit the door, you remember to plug that bad boy back in. Refit your door, refit your screw points and your screw it, clip your clips back on and you are complete. You have done a DIY speaker upgrade in the Suzuki Vitara. By putting four of those new speakers in this car, you dramatically increase the quality of the sound. Much, much better listening experience for you and your passengers. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we want to see you again soon and show you more tips and tricks and more installs on more cars.